In my most recent videos and blog posts, I've often stated that I'm currently working on Osana and Raiburu. But what does that mean exactly? Working on Osana? What does that look like? In this video, I'm going to show you exactly what I've been working on lately, except for spoilers. First, I'll explain my top priority. The experience of eliminating Osana must feel completely different from the experience of eliminating any other student. By now, you've probably watched Kokona die dozens of times. Eliminating Osana should not feel like you're just eliminating Kokona wearing a wig. I've already explained that it will be more difficult to eliminate Osana because she has the equivalent of a bodyguard beside her at all times. But even after you've eliminated Osana, the consequences of her death should feel more significant than the consequences of any other character's death. I'll provide some examples. If Senpai discovers a stranger's corpse, he runs out of school and calls the police. But if Senpai discovers Osana's corpse, he will fall to his knees, have a mental breakdown, call the police in a frenzied panic, and then weep over the dead body of his childhood friend. Whenever the police are summoned to school, you will see something called the end of day sequence, where you learn the results of the police investigation and also learn about any potential consequences, such as clubs shutting down due to the deaths of club members. If you eliminate Osana, the end of day sequence will show you how your actions have affected Senpai. If Osana mysteriously disappears without a trace, Senpai will be concerned and worried. If Osana is arrested for murder, Senpai will be disgusted with her. If nasty rumors are circulating about Osana, Senpai will be disturbed by what he is hearing. If Osana is expelled from school, Senpai will be shocked to learn that she wasn't the person he thought she was. If Senpai rejects Osana's love confession, he will feel guilty for breaking her heart. And if Osana's corpse is discovered, Senpai will be absolutely devastated and will stay home from school the next day to mourn her death. In short, Senpai's mental health will always be affected by the elimination of a rival. The severity of the damage to his mental health is determined by the way you chose to eliminate your rival. Senpai's mental state will affect the ending of the game, so you may wish to avoid traumatizing him too much. A long time ago, I said that the player might be able to leave anonymous gifts on Senpai's desk to cheer him up and restore some of his lost sanity. And recently, I expressed a desire to replace one of the stores on the new street with something more useful to the player. So, I've decided to change the music store into a gift shop, where the player can buy gifts for Senpai. Leaving anonymous gifts on his desk will make him feel like there is a guardian angel watching over him and wishing him the best, which will comfort him and improve his mental health. One of the most common complaints that I've heard about Yandere Sim is that the player isn't allowed to interact with Senpai or build up a relationship with him. Yandere-chan loses control of herself in his presence, so speaking with him is out of the question. However, if she were to leave anonymous gifts on his desk throughout the game, she would slowly be forming a type of relationship with him, even without interacting with him directly. At the end of the game, she could tell Senpai that she was the one who put all those presents on his desk. So, instead of seeing her as a stranger who is abruptly confessing her love to him, Senpai would see her as a guardian angel who had been watching over him the entire time. Completely unaware that she was actually the one responsible for every tragedy that he had been through. The gift shop could offer other benefits too, such as allowing the player to purchase presents that Osana's suitor could give to Osana. Osana's elimination will affect more than just Senpai's sanity. For example, if Osana is gone, then Raiburu's routine will change. She will behave differently and spend her time differently if Osana has died or disappeared. Likewise, Osana's behavior will change if Raiburu is gone. 
she will follow a completely different daily routine that involves traveling to various places in school where many witnesses are present, so that it is still a bit challenging to eliminate her even when Raiburu isn't there. There is also another character whose absence will affect Osana and Raiburu. I'll explain. On Friday, Osana has a conversation with Musume that sounds bad out of context. The player can record this conversation and make sure that Senpai hears it, which will damage his opinion of Osana. This conversation takes place in the early morning, so the player has a limited amount of time to obtain the equipment necessary to record Osana's conversation. So, I need to make sure that the player is aware that this conversation is going to take place. For this reason, Osana and Raiburu will have a conversation at the very start of the day, where Raiburu informs Osana that Musume wants to talk to her, and mentions that it would be bad if their conversation was recorded. This is my way of hinting that the player should go grab a recording device and prepare to record Osana's conversation. Now. If Musume is not at school because she's dead or kidnapped or whatever, Osana and Raiburu will have a completely different conversation, and the Musume event will never even take place. This is an example of how the player's actions towards characters seemingly unrelated to Osana can affect events on subsequent days. Speaking of scripted events, there are now three scripted methods to separate Raiburu from Osana. However, this doesn't mean that you only have three options for dealing with Raiburu. It's possible that you may be able to find even more ways to remove her, simply by using the game's mechanics in clever ways. I'm sure that many players will search for exploits and try to find creative strategies to eliminate Osana as quickly as possible. It's completely natural for people to search for the most efficient way to quickly complete an objective. But, as the game's developer, it's my duty to remove as many exploits as possible. I'll give you an example of one potential exploit that has already been removed. Osana plans to confess to Senpai on Friday at 6 p.m. You might think that you could prevent the conversation from taking place by killing someone and letting their corpse be discovered, so that the police will be called to school. During a police investigation, students are not allowed to travel freely until about 8 p.m., when the investigation is finally finished. At that point, teachers tell the students to go home. So, does this mean that a police investigation on Friday would prevent Osana from confessing to Senpai? The answer is no. If there is a police investigation on Friday, Osana will wait until the investigation ends, and then ask Senpai to speak with her under the cherry tree before the teachers tell them to leave school. The lighting will even be different during the cutscene, to reflect the fact that the confession is now taking place at night. Eliminating Raiburu should be challenging, so I'm not going to make it easy for you by showing you the scripted methods for separating her from Osana. You'll have to figure that out on your own. However, I will describe something that was added to the game as a side effect of implementing Raiburu. Up until now, every student has had a reputation of zero at the start of the game. Reducing their reputation far enough would result in that student being targeted by bullies. Raiburu has a reputation as an extremely strong martial artist, so it doesn't make sense if the player could easily make her the target of bullies. I decided that Raiburu should start the game with the highest reputation possible, to give her extra protection against gossip and bullying. After implementing that, I decided that every student should start the game with a specific reputation. However, when I began to assign numbers to each student, I realized that it was often quite difficult to summarize a student's social standing with a single number. I'll explain. Some students are respected for their high intelligence, but disliked because of their poor social skills. Other students are loved by everyone because of their charisma, but they aren't respected because they are known to be lazy slackers. 
There are even students who are not liked or respected, but they are not seen as targets for bullying because they are feared across the school. Conveying all of that information with a single number was impossible, so I decided to use a graph instead. From a student's profile, you can now access a graphical representation of their social standing. The game uses a simple equation to determine a student's reputation, and that equation involves only three things. How much the student is liked, how much the student is respected, and how much the student is feared. You might be wondering why I chose those three things specifically. It's because the reputation feature is connected directly to the bullying feature. A student won't be bullied if they are liked, respected, or feared. But if a student is not liked, not respected, and not feared, then they become a target. Anyway, this is an example of how implementing Osana and Raiburu can sometimes lead to discovering flaws with some of the game's oldest systems, which are then overhauled and improved. So, let's review. Working on Osana can mean implementing her elimination methods, making her death feel more impactful, providing the player with ways to repair Senpai's mental health, designing new routines for characters who are affected by Osana's death, implementing alternate versions of her events if certain characters are unavailable, providing the player with ways to eliminate Raiburu, removing exploits that would make it too easy to eliminate Osana, reworking some of the game's oldest systems, and other stuff that I can't show you because it's a spoiler. I hope that this video has helped to clarify what I've been doing lately. The act of implementing Osana requires me to do much more than just give the player ways to kill her. I know that you've been waiting for Osana to be complete for a very long time, and I'm sorry if it's disappointing that you have to wait a little longer. I'm doing everything I can to bring you the best experience I can possibly manage, and I hope that you can be patient with me for just a little longer. I'd like to express my gratitude for your support, and I'd also like to thank you for following the development of Yandere Simulator.